This is a demonstration of automated transcription in Transana using the Faster Whisper Embedded tool. I'll start by right-clicking an existing episode and choosing Add Transcript. I'll name this transcript Faster Whisper for the sake of the tutorial, but you'll likely name your transcripts after some aspect of your data. The Add Transcript form in Transana includes an option labeled Automated Transcription Method. Here, I'll select the Faster Whisper Embedded tool, and then I'll press OK to launch the Automated Transcription tool. The first page of the Automated Transcription tool provides some use notes for Faster Whisper, indicating that processing occurs locally on your computer and that it's important to review all automated transcripts and translations created by this tool for accuracy. I'll accept the terms of use and press Next. The automated transcription tool then performs audio extraction to prepare for automated transcription processing. When this step is completed, I'll press the Next button. On the next page, I can see a number of options. Faster Whisper supports over 100 language options. And I'll select English because that's the language that is spoken in my source media data. I'll then select the model I want to use. There can be a trade-off with different models between the amount of time required for processing and the level of accuracy of the resulting transcript. In this case, I want the highest level of accuracy available so I'll choose the Large-V2 model. For more information, there is a post on the Transana blog about the accuracy of different models with different types of media data that you might find interesting. Transana provides an option to have Transana timecodes included every sentence or between every word in the resulting transcript. For the analysis I'm planning on doing for this data, timecodes every sentence are sufficient. Finally, if I was transcribing the data in a language other than English, this tool offers an option to create an English translation instead of a transcript of the data in its original language. Such translation should be reviewed for accuracy by someone who understands the language spoken in the data file before analysis proceeds. With my settings selected, I'll press the Next button to begin the automated transcription process. The speed of this process depends heavily on the model that you've selected, the length of your media file, and how powerful your computer is, but patience is often required. I've cut a lot of processing time out of this demonstration video. When the process is finished, I click the Finish button at the bottom of the page. Transana then loads the media file and displays the automated transcript. You'll notice that there is a transcription key at the top of the file that indicates that different colors in the text represent different levels of certainty in the automated transcription. However, some words in the transcript where the automated transcription program indicates over 90% confidence will be incorrect, while some words with lower levels of confidence will be correct. The colors are only a guideline. We suggest that you consider the automated transcript to be a rough first draft. You may want to go through it, playing your media file as you go, to make corrections and improvements. Alternately, some researchers make corrections of sections of the transcript during the clip selection, coding, and categorization process that make up analysis in Transana. We'll go into edit mode and then play the video. we see that the transcription is accurate, so we make a selection and use the black text formatting button to remove the color-coded confidence levels. I'm going to first flip it up. Watch what happens. 